What's up guys, Kevin over at Lake Bros coming back at you with the, another video today. Uh, I am coming back at you with this. This is something that came in before all of those sets came in. So <laughs> it's just been sitting on my counter forever. Let's go ahead and dive into it. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing Lego content all the time. I do have a very successful eBay store. You can always reach out to me on Instagram at Leg Bros with a zero or on eBay. It is uh, stores.ebay.com slash Leg Bros. Um, and you can find me there selling pretty much every figure or all of a lot of the figures anyways uh that they make uh hopefully i didn't show an address there i'm thinking uh but we should see this first little lot here is just a little bit, bit of ninjago figures uh the reason i got it was because of the ninjago figures two of them are samukai <laughs> which is a very very hard to find figure nowadays uh he actually does have great worth i think he's about 20 $20, somewhere in the $20 range nowadays. Uh, so there's two of him in here, along with some of his other cohorts, and then some more little horses. I have tons of these. I just don't know what to do with these. I just keep getting them. <laughs> I don't even think they were actually part of Ninjago. Oh man, that guy's dirty. I have to clean him off. Always good to find dirt on, uh, on things. Always a fun feeling. All right. And let's go ahead and continue on down the line here. Just some really small hauls. Because I wasn't buying much because I had just spent 21, actually 24 after I've all was said and done, $1,000, $24,000 in cash on Legos. Anybody's, anybody heard anybody doing that? I didn't think so. Yeah. Go ahead and check those videos out if you haven't already. Uh, this was just a very small clone lot. Uh, mostly I got it just for the Cody body because uh, I did need some Commander Cody's for some lots that I was going to be getting. But there are some clones in here, just some Bomb Squad, um, Gunner, regular clones, Pilot, Sand Troop, or Sand Horn Company Trooper anyway, uh, and then Commander Cody. I just wanted the body, which is not cracked. Perfect. So awesome, awesome stuff there. I did, I was gonna make another video separately on this, but I do, I think I'll just combine it into this one since this is a very short video. Man, <laughs> I got another one of these because they care. <laughs> if you guys have seen my other they care video uh, previously, you'll know what the, where this is going. Um, as you can see, this this is how it came in the mail. This bag totally torn open. Uh, this was this was a sale that was done, um, and obviously I paid for postage. And you know things do happen, but uh, the person hadn't received it after like two weeks, and we're like, okay, what's going on? So I refunded the person. Um, generally, the things show up in the mail. I've found if they just get lost, but in this case, I'll hide the address here. This thing was completely on fire. <laughs> that is a new one for me. Let's see if I can hide this here too. So you can see there was a hole here that was on fire. There was a hole there that was on fire. Uh, this whole thing was just mashed, shredded, and lit on fire. And they shipped it. They didn't even ship it to the person it was going to. They shipped it back to me. And then when you look into the figure itself, this happened to be a Captain Phasma. We're like, oh, okay, well, at least if the figure is in good shape, you know, at least if it didn't light on fire, then it'll be okay. Nope, crunched, fire, scorched. Let's take a look at the, the damage here. We can see the helmet is was on fire, so you can see a little burn mark right there. Um, her legs. Oh, yeah, that's that's repairable damage right there. For sure. Luckily, this was only a, like a $15 sale, so I'm not like super concerned about it. But I mean, still, I didn't even get my money back from the post office for them doing this. Basically, I paid them to completely obliterate my figure. But because I did not have insurance or anything like that on a $15 package, it's fine. It's fine if they lit it on fire and then mailed it back to me destroyed. That's totally okay. It's totally okay to do that kind of thing when you're at the United States Postal Service. There's no... There's no responsibility or respect or anything like, hey, we've honored, you know, at least your postage. We've refunded your postage back to you. No, I paid for them to do this and then send it back to me like this. Um, her cape might be usable. I think there was a scorch mark on the end, which it looks like there is. So probably not going to be able to use that either. Uh, her head. The helmet looks. Nope, never mind. Helmet smashed there, too. So it got not only smashed, but also lit on fire. <laughs> <laughs> which is, uh, I mean, I get it. 
and, and most of my packages are delivered just fine. Um, and that's, that's cool. But this is the cost of doing business, I guess, when you're looking at shipping. Obviously, I'm not going to put insurance on a $15 figure because that just would be meaningless. But I mean, what other job do you need to put insurance for the, to guarantee that they don't just completely destroy your figure and send it back to you? Like, what other job can you not guarantee that something's going to get done right? And if you want to guarantee that they're held responsible for it, you have to pay extra. Like, you go to a restaurant and they say, okay, I will give you that food. Do you want me to, do you want to pay extra to make sure that I don't spit in it? Do you want to make, do you want to pay extra that I don't make sure that I don't just deliver you the wrong food? Like, just think about that in terms of relative terms and what insurance is for the United States Postal Service. It is literally the biggest scam I've ever heard of in my entire life. No, I'm paying you to do a service and this is how I get my, my figure back. This is what your service ended up being is a scorched, smashed, useless Lego figure to me because I'm in the resale business. What am I going to do with this? No one's going to buy that. Just a rant. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but I just had to uh, had to throw that in there because I did I did just look over and see that. And this video is kind of short, so we'll just include it in here. Uh, but comment below what your favorite figure is. Comment below your your post office story because I'm sure most of you have some something there <laughs> of the worst that you have seen. My figure is definitely gonna be the Samukai. Don't get him very often, so always fun to find him in a lot. Uh, and hit that like button. Show me some love. Come on. I lost my figure. You can, you can make it up to me with a, a subscription and a like and a comment. <laughs> hit the little bell to be notified for the next one. And uh, hopefully we get back on track here. I will catch you guys on the next video, which hopefully will be sometime soon. Who knows? I'm not really buying anything right now as we just kind of wait for the holidays to pass. I might be purging out some stuff, so we'll see. Uh, I have just tons and tons and tons of work to catch up on, so I think most of this year is going to be maybe catch up stuff. Uh, I have a couple of videos on some stuff that I got from that large set haul that I'm going to do if I end up building them, if I have any time. So maybe we'll do some of those videos as well. Comment below if you want some reviews of those, some of those sets that were open uh, in there, if I haven't sold them anyways. Uh, and maybe we'll do some of that too. So yeah, love you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.